Hey there, everybody! It's me, Karazina Cheetah, here with the Stanley Parable! Also, that is really weird, because it shows all of, like, the, uh, the Fraps counter down there, if you guys can see that. Anyhow, oh good, my <laughs> controller works. This is the first time I'm starting this up. Um, this is, of course, the Steam release of Stanley Parable, and I've been wanting to do this game for forever! So... See video. Uh, disable full screen. I guess there. Whoa, crash. Let's try this again. Oh, crash, did he crash, crash, crash? I had to uninstall and reinstall the game. There! Now it is the proper... Uh, the proper... Blech. Hold on. There! Now it is the proper width! I... Dang it, mouse! Stay out of here! Um, now <laughs> it is the proper one. Anyway, let's see. Uh, audio. Up there. I will put you... Down there. Hi. Full captions. Okay. Achievement. Enabled. Saves. Oh, achievement unlocked. Achievement. Thanks, game. Um, this reminds me of, uh, you find yourself in a room back, you know, when this was just that first version of it. Um, if you guys don't know what your you find yourself in a room is, I have a video of it on my channel. But anyhow, let's begin the game. The end is never. That's great. Oh, and my mic is nope. It was fine. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Okay. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Huh. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Huh. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Uh oh. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Yeah. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Alright, so we are Stanley, employee 427. I do know a good bit about this game story, but I haven't watched any videos on it for almost a year. So, if I forget something, forgive me! How do I move? Can I jump? Can we do anything? Phone? Alright, I guess I will leave. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, I don't want to go to the meeting room, though. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. This is the most boring desk. Look, it's just a pencil sharpener! Oh. No. Come back, computer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, computer. I didn't mean to. 
I can't read that because it wraps around. Can I make copies? No? Okay. Nope. Stanley went around touching every nope. little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Well, shut up! I'm exploring! Because exploring is fun! Alright, let's, I guess, keep going. No, I really don't want to. Oh. I just, I, I don't know why, but my brain is going fuck with the narrator. And I, well, I know why my brain's doing that. Because, why not? Username Maxis. Well. Uh, but that's just my knee-jerk reaction is, let's fuck with this guy. Oh. I am probably not where I'm s supposed to be. Nope. Hmm. These won't open, alright? Damn. I hate Mondays. Ooh. And I have never worked in a office type place. I've always worked in food service or retail. So... Going back to my room. Meh. He's like, well, maybe everyone. I don't know. Oh, my office is locked. That sucks. Um. And my reaction would be like, can I go home? Did everybody. Like, is this a day off and nobody told me? But I kind of get Stanley because I personally love my job in retail. Um. When most other people would find it. Not very fun. <laughs> when Stanley came oh. to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh, I'm gonna enter the right one. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, that's totally what I was going for. Man, those rooms are messy. Open? No. Open? No. I keep expecting something is scary to be in there, but I know this isn't a scary game! At least it's not supposed to be. Um, I guess in some ways you could think, like you could say it was scary, like, oh, it's, it's like life. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, Drinking it all in. This is a nice employee lounge. Can I sit down? 